June 26, 1954. The Soviet Union successfully built the world's first nuclear power plant which used enriched uranium as fuel and graphite as a coolant. The nuclear power plant APS-1, with a net electrical output of 5 megawatts, was connected to the power grid and became the world's first nuclear power plant to generate electricity for commercial use. During that period, the United States government built an experimental prototype molten salt reactor using U-233 fuel, the fissile material created by bombarding thorium with neutrons. The MSRE reactor built at Oak Ridge National Laboratory operated critical for roughly 15,000 hours from 1965 to 1969. In 1968, Nobel laureate and discoverer of plutonium, Glenn Seaborg, publicly announced to the Atomic Energy Commission, of which he was chairman, that the thorium-based reactor had been successfully developed and tested. In 1973, however, the US government settled on uranium technology and largely discontinued thorium-related nuclear research. The reasons were that uranium-fueled reactors were more efficient, the research was proven, and thorium's breeding ratio was thought insufficient to produce enough fuel to support the development of a commercial nuclear industry. Alvin Weinberg, who was the director at Oak Ridge and primarily responsible for the new reactor, lost his job because he supported the development of safer thorium reactors. Weinberg himself recalls this period. Chet Hollifield was clearly exasperated with me, and he finally blurted out. Alvin, if you are concerned about the safety of reactors, then I think it may be time for you to leave nuclear energy. I was speechless. But it was apparent to me that my style, my attitude, and my perception of the future were no longer in tune with the powers within the AEC. September 6, 2022, Kirk Sorensen says at the Clean Growth Leadership Network conference. Although wartime pressures had forced Weinberg to temporarily abandon his effort to develop the thorium reactor, he had carefully moved from opportunity to opportunity and became the head of one of the national nuclear laboratories in the United States Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee. From that leadership position, Weinberg was at last able to pursue the future of nuclear power guided by principles of sustainability, safety, and minimization of waste generation. Weinberg did not invent the reactor of the future, but it was gestated, so to speak, under his guidance and control. That reactor was the molten salt reactor, a reactor of the future, a reactor designed seemingly torn from the 21st century but brought into being in the 1950s. It is a reactor design to which we still find ourselves striving toward almost 70 years after its creation, for I and others strongly believe that this reactor holds the keys to our energy future. At a time when the nations of the earth were striving to create plutonium for weapons, Weinberg and his Oak Ridge engineers were imagining a reactor that did not create plutonium. At a time when nuclear reactors used only a tiny, tiny fraction of the energy content of their fuel, leaving the rest as waste, Weinberg's engineers were working to create a reactor that pushed fuel efficiency almost to the theoretical limit. And most significantly, at a time when reactor safety was not afforded the priority that it deserved, the molten salt reactor offered options for safety that are still greater than just about every other option today. In 2011, China officially announced it will launch a program to develop a thorium-fueled molten salt nuclear reactor, taking a crucial step toward shifting to nuclear power as a primary energy source. The project was unveiled at the annual Chinese Academy of Sciences conference in Shanghai. While nearly all current nuclear reactors run on uranium, the radioactive element thorium is recognized as a safer, cleaner and more abundant alternative fuel. Thorium is particularly well suited for use in molten salt reactors or MSRs. Nuclear reactions take place inside a fluid core rather than solid fuel rods, and there's no risk of meltdown. Since 2015, the share of clean energy consumption of hydro, nuclear, and wind in China has gradually increased from 18% to 23.4%. This trend shows that China's energy system is constantly being improved. According to a report posted on the Huawei Municipal Government website, the main project of the molten salt reactor was completed in May 2021, and the operation will start in September. If the test passes, it means that China will be the first country in the world to use the nuclear power technology of the fourth generation reactors and become a leader in the field of new clean energy. First of all, in terms of the cost of nuclear fuel, China is a big country with rich mineral reserves of thorium, which is relatively cheap compared to uranium fuel. The reserves of thorium in the Earth's strata are relatively high, 
much higher than those of uranium and plutonium. For example, rare earth mines and fluorite mines with large reserves in China contain thorium elements, and the source of minerals is much easier. The reserves are more than 300,000 tons. Suppose it is used to generate electricity, according to the current electricity consumption, the reserves of thorium in China can guarantee the power generation supply for many centuries in the future, which can be used for about 20,000 years. Lyndon Edwards, a nuclear engineer at the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organization in Sydney, said, thorium is much more abundant than uranium, so in 50 or 100 years, when uranium reserves start to decline, thorium will be very promising. But nuclear power plant reactors are not just about economics, they have higher requirements for safety, especially after the nuclear accidents at Chernobyl in the former Soviet Union and Fukushima in Japan. Doubts and various demonstrations against nuclear power plants have emerged, and everyone's concerns about the safety of nuclear power plants are the priority. Chernobyl and Fukushima nuclear power plants, both of which use uranium as reactor fuel, graphite and water and other materials as moderators to control the criticality of the reactors. The reason for the accident is that the criticality of nuclear fuel cannot be controlled. The high temperature melts the core, resulting in an irreversible accident. The thorium-based molten salt nuclear reactor is much safer than the previous nuclear reactor technology. It does not burn the core at high temperatures. A thorium-based molten salt nuclear reactor is unusual in that molten salt, not water, circulates inside, which can maintain a low vapor pressure while operating at high temperatures, reducing mechanical stress and improving safety. The containment of the Fukushima nuclear power plant was destroyed by an explosion due to the supercritical temperature of the runaway nuclear reaction material, which produced a large amount of water vapor and hydrogen mixed with oxygen, releasing a large amount of radiation bearing water vapor and radioactive substances. Thorium molten salt nuclear reactor fuel and heat cycle working fluid are in molten salt in the pipeline. The molten salt must pass through the fast neutron radiation zone to maintain the fission reaction. When the temperature exceeds the normal temperature, the freezing plug at the bottom of the safety device will automatically melt and carry the molten salt, the nuclear fuel will all flow into the emergency storage tank. Without fast neutron radiation, the nuclear reaction will be terminated immediately, and then the reactor will rapidly cool down. The molten salt used as fuel and cooling medium solidifies after cooling and does not leak and pollute the environment. In addition, the thorium-based molten salt nuclear reactor can process and add nuclear fuel online during the operation of the reactor, without the need to make fuel rods, which simplifies the workflow.